Hello, welcome guys to Car of Thoughts episode 2. Today we're gonna answer some Twitter questions. I am bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get to Hey guys, if you want to be notified as soon as a new Get Germanized video gets uploaded, make sure to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you very much and now have fun with this video. First question of the day comes from Hannah, creative, a fellow YouTuber. Mit welcher Marke würdest du gerne zusammenarbeiten, gesponsert werden und warum? So, what brand would you like to work with or be sponsored by and why? Um, hmm, I don't know a specific brand at the moment, but um, I would love to be sponsored by a travel company. You know, all those travel companies that you can book hotels with um, and flights and stuff like that. Because in America, I believe they're doing something, they're doing something with YouTubers um, in so far as that they will send them on cool journeys throughout the world and let them film it obviously the the youtube is just going to vlog as normal and then well they don't necessarily get paid for it i don't think unless they're really big but i mean they get to go for free right on, on those travels and that would be enough for me as well i mean a little bit of payment would probably be good because you know i need to earn money <laughs> somehow but uh yeah all expenses paid would probably be enough for the first time because th that would just be a cool experience I thought and so definitely that and other than that well there are so many possibilities I mean all these big brands do these cool marketing stunts like coca-cola obviously and Red Bull um, they have the money to do really cool stuff but I don't think really necessarily that I'm big enough on YouTube for them to wanting you know to to work with me but if you know anyone that would like to work with get germanized um, i'm all ears i'm always up for collaborations for sponsorships and cool new sponsored ideas you know uh, because they obviously the companies have the money to to um, do cool stuff and so i just need to come up with an idea and that's the easy part really for me um, I don't want to sound braggy, but that is generally the easy part. The funding is mostly what's what's hard. And so, if someone, you know, can do that for me, yeah, definitely gonna do it. Next question comes from Christian Roberts. Uh, Roberts, having been or having seen both northern and southern Germany, they seem very different. What do like? What do you like or not like about each? Um, well, I always say this, <laughs> like Northern Germany is beautiful as well, definitely very beautiful, but many people forget about that. Many, many people think the, the South is the only nice place. But then again, I have to admit that the South definitely has more beautiful scenery. Sadly, I have to admit that. I mean, ah, it's, it's difficult. At least for me as a Northern German, whenever I go to Southern Germany, I'm like, whoa, this is beautiful and then I come back to the north where everything is kind of flat and I'm like this is okay <laughs> but we definitely have beautiful beautiful um, things like the Cologne Dome in North Rhine-Westphalia right that is not really necessarily the north anymore but still you know north enough <laughs> to not be southern Germany uh, but yeah <clears throat> I mean, it has Nordrhein-Westfalen, it's not in the name. So that, that should do the trick, right? Things I don't like about the South, hmm, it's more expensive to live there, I think, right? Like, but Munich is super expensive as a city to live in, um, and just generally, I think, um, living there, like the, the living costs are higher and all of that. So that is definitely, something to consider uh, while the north obviously has expensive places like Hamburg as well uh, it's, it's really difficult though I mean I, I know that you guys want to know like what's the best place in Germany to live in like what's cooler but it really depends on your personal taste as well the south I would say is very special <laughs> like I mean when people talk about the south they mostly mean Bavaria right so 
Bavaria is special insofar as that it's the stereotypical version of Germany. If people think of Germany, they think of Bavaria. They think of Lederhosen, Dirndls, sauerkraut and beer, right? That's what people usually think of. Um, but Bavaria is just one of the states of Germany and we have so many, we have 16 states. Um, so 15 more are completely different. Are not completely, but they're quite different, you know. At least most of them, <laughs> like I said. So definitely take your time and travel around if you have the possibility to do that and find the, the perfect place in Germany for you because there is no one right place. Every place has something special and something interesting. Um, try to, you know, go with the flow, adapt as far as you can to the system here and then, you know, you'll get over the bureaucracy, you'll get over the serious staring Germans and then you'll have fun. <laughs> because we can be fun, we can be social, definitely. Next question uh, by Robert Geller. What's the beach and sharks like? <laughs> I am not 100% sure, but I don't think we, we have sharks in Germany. Well, I suppose you can't always be right. Um, I was wrong about that. <laughs> um, and I looked it up and we have over 31 different types of sharks in the Baltic Sea. Many of those are actually about to die out, so different organizations try to save them. Well, and as far as the beaches go, we do have quite a lot of beautiful ones, you might not think like of beaches when you think of Germany but you know distributed among the Baltic Sea the Northern Sea and the different islands we have here um, they are quite nice and probably maybe not as nice as in the Caribbean but for example the island Föhr has a wonderful white strand like a white beach strand and um, yeah see for yourself and um, maybe one day you'll see it with your own eyes we have something called watt though <clears throat> it's what uh, what stays when the water goes away so to speak like then you have very deep watt i will try to find the word and show it to you guys the watt is uh, filled with like worms and sea creatures and stuff like little crabs and all of that stuff so that's really uh, something different if for, for someone who, who isn't used to that kind of stuff. I think northern Germans like pride themselves with having Watt <laughs> at the beaches. Um, I, I enjoy walking barefoot around in it sometimes. It's always cool. Marlena wants to know, I like a lot of different kind of music. Do you have any suggestion? Also, do you like Rammstein? Yes, I love Rammstein. Definitely, I'm a big metal and rock fan. Um, suggestions for music, well, uh, my friend Dave would be better at this because I just listen to random metal and rock radios and mostly don't know the name of the newer songs and stuff like that. Um, I can suggest you the bands that I like though, not necessarily German though, <laughs> because in Germany English music is super popular. When you turn on a German radio station you will most likely hear some kind of English music. Um, we do have German songs on there as well, obviously, but a lot, a lot of German, uh, English music, sorry. So, my favorite bands, or among my favorite bands, are, <coughs> well, Rammstein, Metallica, System of a Down, um, Boy Sets Fire, Foo Fighters, Nirvana, or Nirvana, um, what else? Uh, Five Finger Death Punch, Muse, uh, Slipknot, uh, In This Moment, um, man, so so many, seriously. Uh, Machine Head, uh, The Prodigy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bands like that, basically. Um, there are so, so many more. I could go on for hours. But, you know, that that's the kind of music I like. But I also enjoy music like Frank Sinatra. I'm a big Frank Sinatra fan. I'm a big, um, you know, 30s music fan and like, 50s music fan and, and all of that kind of stuff I enjoy too and sometimes I enjoy a good pop song by Pharrell for example um, Happy was a song I really loved or I mean many people love that song I assume <laughs> but yeah I like that and um, I like others uh, I, li I like uh, Japanese pop music sometimes or Korean pop music um, I'm really not that narrow-minded when it comes to music. I was once, when I was like 20, 21, 22, then I was like, Ugh, 
every other kind of music is shit, <laughs> only metal and rock. But now I, I really don't care that much anymore. And um, I think it's good to do that because otherwise you miss out on so much great music. Uh, and I even like classical music. Classical music, especially video game soundtracks and movie soundtracks. Mwah! Could listen to that for hours as well. Next question by Nayeli. Uh, like, magst du FKK? Do you like FKK? Like the naked culture in, in some parts of Germany, like former GDR, like the DDR, had that, was big on that. Um, we still have naked beaches, like FKK beaches um, at the Baltic Sea, I think. And um, in some other areas, we have naked areas as well. I made a whole video about that, FKK in Germany or something like that. I'll link it in the video description. If I forget, tell me in the comments. But yeah, we do have that still. And what I think about it, well, I, I'm, I don't need to get naked in front of a lot of strangers. I'm not that, you know, that much of an exhibitionist. How do you say that? Exhi exhibitionist in German. Exhi exhibitionist? <laughs> I don't know. The, the people that like to get naked in front of strangers. The ones that enjoy that, that get a kick out of that. I'm not one of those people. Um, I bet it feels really nice and freeing and stuff like that, but I would also be worried that sand gets everywhere <laughs> if I'm at the beach, so maybe that's not for me. I don't know. The next question comes by Anabel Sanchez set off. Do you know any other languages other than German and English? Is it weird in a good way when strangers know who you are? Um, I only fluently at least speak German and English. I do know a little bit of Japanese. Watashi wa Dominique des. Uh, I know a little bit of Spanish. Yo uh, soy Dominique, et tal? Um, and a little bit of French. Je uh, m'appelle Dominique. Ça va? But, you know, that's the extent of it, really. I mean, almost. Uh, and I, I don't think it's weird, actually, that people know who I am. I really enjoy it because I'm a social, very social person. And if someone approaches me in real life and says, Hey, dude, I, aren't you the guy from Get Germanized? I really like your videos. Um, then that makes my day. I'm really happy about that. And it feels nice to, you know, know that you put a smile on people's faces with what you do, that you might even help them out. You know, I have always, I'm not, I've often <laughs> gotten messages saying, hey dude, because of you, I moved to Germany. Because of you, I learned German. Um, you gave me the motivation necessary to do all this. Thank you so much. And that makes me feel so proud, seriously. I, I can't deny it. It makes me feel super happy and proud. And that means the world to me. So no, I definitely do not mind that people know who I am. <laughs> so that's it already for this episode of Car of Thoughts, guys. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.